Which at the end of the game, you do get to see uh, what Restar's dad looks like. And by what he looks like, I mean you just get to see that <laughs> and, he's... And, like, when you do that, the screen goes black, this little girl shows up and goes, I feel it! I, I feel, feel the, the cosmos! cosmos. <laughs> yeah. And then the king of cosmos yeah, shows dude. up and tells you you didn't beat the game good enough. <laughs> yeah, right? You know, I feel... You know what's funny? This came out, like, years before Katamari and has, like, the plot of your dad sent you to save the universe. But the thing is, your dad in this game isn't a drunk asshole who <laughs> fucked it up in the first place. <laughs> He's actually busy busy fixing the rest of the universe. Because you find out your dad actually has arms the size of galaxies. Oh shit, He's... Tengen Topa yeah, Gurren dude. Restar? <laughs> That's Tengen Topa! That's Restar! My arms are the arms that will hug the heavens! <laughs> Force yourself down a path and do it ourselves. That is the Sega way. Dude, it's weird because, like, fucking Restart's face kind of reminds me of Simon. Yeah. Like, no, it like, might yeah, be that... more of Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli. Yeah, but, like, that, like, glasses thing he has. Yeah, right? It reminds me of the fucking star glasses. And also his, like, disposition. Yeah. But it reminds me more of Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Like, yeah. it just him in general reminds me of, like, if Yugi's hair got off his head and was, like, its own character, <laughs> it would be Restart. <laughs> yeah. I now summon my hair! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, like, I love no fucks given about that. <laughs> his face yeah, is yeah. fuck it. Damn it! God, that's bullshit. Well, because I gotta wait for the water to rise and I don't because I'm in Oh, nice! Yeah, I got all my health back after getting hit, like, immediately. Oh, I know I'm fucking up. I'm using the fucking, like, the stick and nothing. Yeah, the pad. yeah, wow. use. De like. In all of these games, use the pet. Yeah. yeah, all pad. All games pad. before before an analog stick existed, use the pad. Yeah. It's way more precise. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I really enjoy this section right here because it's just them showing off that they made sprite models for the ocean creatures on the land, too. Because there's ocean enemies, and then they're like, what do they look like on land? Well, they look like they're fucking fucked right now. That's what they look like. <laughs> they look like commies to me. They look like bloody commies. Alright, let's, uh... Let's not fuck this up like last time. Because <laughs> last time with the recording lost, I just fucking flung myself like... Whoa, whoa. They don't know that. Oh, okay. Oh, save yourself, man. Dude, then they think I'm a cool guy. Dude, you guys, I smoke so many blunts. I'm such a cool guy. So many blunts specifically. Yes. Also, if you let go of the controls, he just naturally floats back up. Oh, nice. Actually, he just has real physics that way, so that's really good. That's pretty sweet, like... Like, Sonic is just this big lead wave. Well, that's the thing I always thought, like, the reason why Sonic does can't swim is because he's so lean and thin, like, he just... He's so dense. He's so dense, and also the fact that, like, he, um, he works, he's constantly running, so constant cardio. He has, like, no body fat. Yeah. So, like, he sinks because no body fat. <laughs> But he still would be able to float a little bit because of, you know... Air? You know, air in his lungs. Also, if you ever put a hedgehog in water... Generally, people who do a lot of cardio have a higher lung capacity. Yeah. There's something up here. All the better to hit sick blunts with. <laughs> yeah, just found a secret right there. No big D. No big D. Also, Except for your very big, big D. D. Oh, thank you. Hey, want to see my chocolate starfish? It's right there in front of me. Oh, it's weighing hands me down. Up hands down. Got a chocolate starfish weighing me down. <laughs> move in and move out. That actually does weigh you down a lot. Like, you can't yeah. move as fast if you touch the chocolate tar starfish. <laughs> I almost yeah. said chocolate starfish. Like, tar the fish. only way you can move is by rolling. Yeah, you just gotta roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and what? This music kind of sounds a little chrono trigger y. Yeah. I see like it. at some point. Like the do 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 It might have been inspired by because I'm pretty sure Chrono Trigger came out before this. Oh yeah. This because like I said, like came out like right at the end of the Genesis library. Like this is like I think I don't think it is the last game, but for most people, because I'm pretty sure the last game is probably terrible, but Yeah. Because nobody remembers it, but this for most people is the last game that came out. 
for the Genesis. Yeah. Alright, let's not die here. Okay. No, I no, I felt like I was gonna run into that guy. Oh yeah, that's that like Mega Man. Oh. Damn it! Because that the weird thing about those things, thing I don't like about the Nautiluses that you have to fight is that they just kind of like they have a really shitty hitbox. Yeah. And like I can't really tell when their tentacles are gonna touch me or not, or when like their like little missile things are gonna touch me, like the little mines that they fling yeah. out of their heads. I can't quite tell where my I'm safe all the time. Yeah. That and fun fact about Nautiluses, uh, their penises fire off like missiles and actually smell out Damn the female. It. I just want to tell people, why am I not a Nautilus? I know, dude. Nautiluses are fucking... I could be a big dick missile shooters. <laughs> <laughs> what if I like, big dick dude, missile shooters? If you shoot five of your dicks into a red door... <laughs> Does that open the red door? <laughs> oh my god, I totally want to see a fucking not like that footage that some scientist has, because there's footage of it, of a Nautilus firing off its dick missile, and it's just like firing repeatedly at a fucking like missile door at fucking Metroid Prime. Like, you got puberty. <laughs> you got Nautilus puberty. <laughs> Oh god, that's the worst thing ever. It's not great. It's not good. Oh, you have to kill all of them. That's how- okay, so you can climb up the, up the wall here early, but the thing about it is Try that- Try not to get any pee on you. Yeah, you trying to get any pee. But, uh, um, the one thing you need to know about that section is, uh, that was back there with the horse- the horse- the fucking horse fish. I imagine that being is that you a Cosmo article. Ten things you need to know about that section. Okay, okay. I think we <laughs> that section. I I think it'd be amazing if Cosmo just had like an article that was like one from like fucking Game like, like Game Facts article. Like ten things you need to know about how to get to the end of Parasite Eve. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and it's like in Cosmo though. Like, yeah. So then girls are like, Ten oh, ways to please your man by unlocking Vincent from Mega... Uh, from, from Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 7. <laughs> How to send these to please your man. Unlock Vincent for him. <laughs> Make sure you don't go too far past the notches in the safe <laughs> yeah. that he's hiding in. Which is bullshit. Fuck. Fuck that up. <laughs> uh, can't look back, turn around, don't know quite what to do. To get through. I am on my fucking way to die. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> Cause I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Here I am. Here he is. Trying to reach inside of me. Trying to take my Okay, energy. so I realize now that like... Okay, so we watch two best friends play a lot. Yep. And I know they're not gonna watch this. Or maybe they will. I don't know. But... <laughs> Bastards, I know you've been holding out on us. Yeah, right? <laughs> but, like, <laughs> I, I found out that they started listening to Sonic music, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you see this, fucking listen to what I'm made of. You will blow your head off. Like, it will blow your ears to the back of this auditorium. <laughs> like, it's the best fucking Crush Hardy song. Like, it's the best. <laughs> Just holding out hope that... One day, Wooly's gonna hear this. And he's gonna be all- and he's gonna lie and say that he didn't hear it. <laughs> that, that is his way. It is what he does. Anyway, enough of that shit. Um, let me actually beat this goddamn thing. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. I actually was trying to beat it and just being really bad. Uh, kill that guy. Ah, uh, fucking there's one more. There's two more. Um... Anyway... Uh, the fucking. I also really like the death animation for all the enemies in this game because, like, I feel like they kind of set you up that, like, these evil spirits, like. Okay, these thetans show up <laughs> and inhabit everything and basically make it so. <laughs> everyone feels really bummed out about stuff, man. But, um. Shit, man. 
But, uh, anyway, like, no joke, like, kind of actually, like, this is a Scientology thing. The, uh... So, uh, are you telling me that, uh, Sega is full of Scientologists? Maybe. That would explain, uh... Everything? Everything. Yeah, yeah it, would ex it would explain Sonic in the Black Knight. Shit. You need to break stuff, because we did it for the Nookie. <laughs> <laughs> did it for the Nookie. Go on. I and you ruined the possibility of there ever being a Woodstock again. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, that was so goddamn funny. No, it wasn't. It was horrible. Yeah. There was, like, all sorts of shit. There was, like, a bunch of people died. And there oh, was wait! A couple I know what you're talking- oh, okay! Yeah. I was- I misunderstood what we were talking yeah. about. <laughs> Information gets garbled more, more, up in my head more, sometimes. More Limp Biscuit bullshit. That's right. Alright, cool. So, here's some interesting things about this stage. This is where I- remember I told you things happened in the background? You're gonna need to pay attention to the screen. Just look around, just see motion, just watch it. Huh. See this cage? Big ass one? That's Someone's where the missing. Metroid escaped. Yeah, it is. Like... It's Hammerhead Shark Monster. This is one of my favorite boss battles, actually. I love this boss. <laughs> the last Hammerhead is in captivity. The galaxy, galaxy is at the peace. ocean as at peace. So what you gotta do is you fling him around, you gotta like do your regular fling him around thing, and when he hits one of these uh, bombs, also he smacks his hammerhead into a wall to cause shit to fall on you, which I'm gonna Aww, not gonna lie, that's great. That's great because that's like what every kid, every kid thought when they saw a hammerhead for the first time. When they saw a picture of one, they were like, dude, he probably slams like the side of his head into a wall like a hammer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he's kind of difficult to avoid a little bit because the water level gets lower, and as it gets lower, um, you have less space to avoid him gonna come at me, he's gonna bring some fish. Yeah. Shit. Gotta, gotta kinda folk my distruse. You can folk your distrucity. You can folk your distruse. You can folk your music. You can folk it all day. You can folk, folk it, it all night. night. Go folk yourself. No but off folking. <laughs> New folk. No one is even gonna get that. I know. Cause the <laughs> yeah, cause the okay. So anyway, there's an app that you can get an office mask called yeah. Go Elf Yourself. Go do it. Go Elf Yourself. Go Elf Yourself. <laughs> Hearing that every day is great. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Shit, I almost ah fuck. Look at him freak out. I love that animation where he spit. Oh god. Oh, they're mines. I forgot. I was like the giant like bacteria phages. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, bitch. Alright. Now, remember earlier when I said um, they wanted to give every ocean sprite a land animation? Mm -hmm. this, this whole time. It's gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be a moment here. Ah, oh, fuck! I fucked it up. Okay. Here's the moment. Check out his land animation. Ah, nice. <laughs> And here's the final animation, I love this. He gets stuck in one of the holes, and starts blowing up, and little, his little thetans fly out. <laughs> Restar, the savior of Scientology. <laughs> Woo! Doo -doo. Woo -doo -doo -doo. Kirby's Avalanche! <laughs> yeah! Undertow cleared. I really like the name of that stage, like, Planet Undertow. That's awesome. Yeah. Like. Because Undertow is dangerous, it could fucking, like, pull you in the ocean kill you. Also, it's a no fucking ocean level. Yeah. Which is, which is really interesting, because if you look at the background in the first one, which I didn't bring this up, but the first part of that level, the background of it has pyramids, so it's actually a desert level, but you're in the ocean of that desert. Oh, damn. <laughs> like, that's cool, I like that. It's, just, it's a desert planet with nothing but ocean around the desert parts. Capture not here, part 7. You are... Immediately dying. It's fine. That's a death. Oopsie doops. It's kind of entirely my fault, but no, it's fine. I actually want to die anyway because I got like you know bills to pay and. Uh, oh yeah. But mainly because I got hit once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a. Uh... See, there's little switches you can hit here, and they destroy those little uh, bomb launching. Switches get stitches. They do get stitches. Also, I'm gonna let you see the bitches. animation on this stage. So he gets tired, sweaty. Oh, yeah. nice. 
See, like, all the environments on the stages, like, affect him. It's, it's really cool. I like it. Um, oh yeah, a little restar statue that you gotta... You gotta, you gotta trick these things into dropping on them. <laughs> oh, cool. And by the way, before I get further into the stage, I just wanna let everyone know, this is actually one of the hardest stages. I'm not a big fan of this one, actually. The stage is really cool, but I just, it's so goddamn hard. Like, there's, there's gonna be a point where I'm just gonna keep dying, and you're gonna... <coughs> you're it's, gonna probably where, it's probably gonna be where this, this fucking playthrough ends for right now. Um... <laughs> when I get to that point. Okay. God fucking damn it. <laughs> that wasn't it, though, right? It was not it at all. That all was right. not actually a problem. I just completely slipped on the controls. That's fine. If we had a quarter for every time we slipped up on the controls, <laughs> we'd have at and least one quarter. <laughs> <laughs> You put a one and two zeros after that. We got a deal. We got a one and two zeros after that, and we got a deal. How much money did you make, Bender? One hundred dollars. Dollars. <laughs> that was the greatest thing ever. One hundred dollars. Fuck. See, I'm gonna kill that. Yes. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nope, just a statue for <gasps> Fuck! This isn't that me this isn't that moment, but I completely forgot about this. That lava touches you, you're just dead. Like, you just die here, I'm pretty sure. Well I will anyway because I have one. So health. it's the the great cave offensive of this. Yes. No! <laughs> That's the opposite! It's the opposite I wanted wanted to happen! Lava, do its thing, slang and bang. <laughs> also, Watch I out for them thugs. Also, I love this game having like an actual like just magma world. It's a world that just is magma. Yeah, it's, it has this big factory all over it. Yeah, Fuck. harnessing the power of the infinite did magma. You, did you see all the shit that just happened right there? Yeah, that was a fucking vulture came down to get me after I was in the fucking fire. <laughs> like, I'm already burning, and he's just like, <laughs> pee -pee. Pee -pee. <laughs> I can't break that yet. Pee -pee. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> Wall restart. <laughs> oh, the lava's not coming for some reason. It's usually lava that just like comes up. Oh, oh it's, it's coming, it's actually down. Never mind. Alright. It's all in the restart. It's all in the cosmic entity. I feel like restart could give like hand jobs from really far away. It could. Well, you'd feel it a thousand years from now. Okay, this is the part that I hate. You have to kill those things in order. But here's the thing. You think they only have you do this one time. They have you this multiple times, and at some point you don't get numbers anymore. Okay, get ready for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. Okay. And I'm pretty sure if you do fail at it, you just I don't know if you just die or what happens, I can't remember. Jump over this guy. Jump over again. That guy. And the middle guy? I think so, yeah. And then and from right to left, I believe. Alright, I, sure oh, right. I think I might have actually done this. This was one more, which it probably is one more. Oh shit! I did it on the first try? Yeah! Fuck yeah! And I got a. Yes! Yeah! That shit takes me for fucking ever every time I do it. Alright. Cool. OBS, be kind. <laughs> <laughs> be kind. OBS, rewind. I, for the love of God, the internet needs to see this. <laughs> for the love of God, it's the best restars ever been played by anyone. Yeah, yeah. the best. You should just title it that. The best restars <laughs> played by anyone ever. So like, people just click on it, and it's like, you know, this. This somebody is playing it regular. <laughs> <laughs>